Okay, so now we've done an amazing job. We've shrunk the film. That's awesome. We're halfway there. And you've obviously followed the techniques or you're listening to um, the senior in your shop, uh, the head installer or your boss. And they're going to want you to, um, you know, install the film. This would be like the playoffs where everything else is cool, but this is where it really matters. If you don't get a good install, you know, you're going to be back there restarting and doing it all again. So what we're going to do, we come over, got our soapy water and whichever you like, we've got either a scour or steel wool. Um, you can get a cornering card and also a rear screen tool because once we jump in and we install the film um, to get right to the bottom you don't want to be getting out of the car then back in um, to get that so just bring everything in we'll get started and I'll meet you on the inside okay so now we're on the inside um, first things first let's get our drop sheet down um, so we're protecting especially if they've got speakers we want to uh, miss the film I'm sorry, we want to miss the glass, okay, and whichever you decide to clean with, you know, it doesn't really matter. Find out what's happening in your shop and what they prefer. Um, you have to be careful, a lot of the European cars, the uh, defroster lines are a bit weak, so if you go too hard with them with the steel wool, you could damage them, so I'd probably recommend a scourer, but then if you looked at the, jo the Dodgers and, and the Chryslers, um, these demister defroster lines are very thick. Um, some people use like a wet and dry sandpaper or a lot of uh, steel wool and elbow grease. Um, they have to be prepped really well or you can run into a lot of trouble with peanuts and stuff like that happening after the install. So I'm going to get the scrubber pad on the back of my hands. Alright. We're going to pass the window once. Let's pass it twice. Okay. And now as we squeegee, um, you know, obviously the water's going to drop down on the parcel shelf. <laughs> left to right. If you're left-handed, might be easier. Right to left. Um, it's important that if I'm squeegeeing and I miss a bit like that, I don't want to come back and readdress it because I could leave dirt here. You want to work your way from top to bottom left to right or right to left so always at a forward angle working our way down okay so with the bottom there obviously I can't get my hand right in there so what I want to do is instead of this way I'm going to flip the squeegee and go backwards That way I've got almost all the way to the bottom edge. Just remember we can flush all the edges to get rid of this. It's not that important that we get our squeegee right down in there. Um, you could damage the glass on the parcel shelf. Or the other option is uh, the side swiper or a rear screen tool. We can get this down, make a swipe across there and it's all clean. So some people now prefer like a lint free towel to wipe the excess off the edges or you can flush the film, uh, sorry, the window. Flush the side, flush the side. Um, with a lot of the newer cars, just be careful because there is a lot of technology down underneath the parcel shelf, you know, the Range Rovers and stuff, there's computers. So if you put too much water down there, it can make its way to the computer. And it's probably not a fun conversation to have with the, uh, the owner of the $100,000 car. So, just take it easy. So now that's ready to install, but before I go and grab my film, I want to wet that window because when we're trying to slide the film around on the glass, um, it's going to try and lock down on these demisters, especially if we're putting pressure on. So what we'll do is just put this on mist. We're going to mist the glass. Okay. I've left that top inch dry or that, you know, top three or four centimeters dry. And now we're ready to go get the film and uh, throw it on. All right, so now let's peel it. And um, this probably sounds quite easy, but when you're getting started, it might be a little difficult. So um, you can try and peel with your teeth, which you'll see a lot of tinners do. 
Um, you could also put uh, tape together and you know, peel the backing sheet off or the release liner. Or your knife. If you're using your knife, make sure it's a fresh snap. Okay? And you just want to keep poking the film. Okay, so now that's peeled down a little bit, um, you want to make sure the board's wet. Again, in the warmer climates, you might want to peel the film back, spray the board and stick the film. If it's dry, it's going to try and roll on itself. Okay, because you've got to remember, we've got a flat wall. We had a flat piece of film, but now we've made a curve to fit the glass. So just keep it wet behind. And when I peel, I don't want to peel out because I'm going to try and pull the film off. Okay, so I'm going to keep the release line or the backing sheet close. And then as I'm peeling, I'm just going to keep spraying it. Obviously in an ideal world we've got a nice black bin and just put it in. That's our bin. Okay. Alright. So now the film's ready to pick up, just hang on. Okay. So you always want to check things out. This is the bottom okay, of the window, so I don't want to pick it up from the bottom because then I'm upside down. So you always want to pick up from the top edge. Um, if we looked at a hatchback, the window's like this. Once we hatch it, things kind of reverse, so you would pick it up from the bottom. But because it's a sedan, I'm going to pick it up from the top. There's a lot of different techniques which we covered in the advance, like uh, rolling it on. Um, they call it the California roll, but we call it the kangaroo roll over here. But right now, um, I think you guys call this the Frankenstein. So let's frank it. So I want to go one arm in, and then not up, but just straight out. Okay. So now this is a white piece of film. How are we going to fit it in the gap there? Because we've got plenty of water, it can touch on itself, it's going to come back. We can touch it, it can come back. So make sure it's nice and wet. So if you guys want to jump around the other side, I'll show you how we get in. Okay, so now the fun part. I'm going to put my right knee on the back of the seat and then I'm going to lift my leg in. Okay, so now if I work my way across, I can get over the console. Okay, now I don't want to damage the film or hit anything. So what I'll do is rock back in between the two seats. Now I'm ready, I can come on. I don't want to get too excited and just slap it on there because I've got too far to travel. Okay, so just get comfortable, lean, take the film down to that bottom edge as far as you can. Okay. Make sure the bottom edge is on smooth. I don't need to get the film up straight away. Okay, now I just want to slowly, slowly slide it down into position. As I get down further, I can put more film on the glass. Okay. All right. So I know that I've cut the film out correctly. So if I've got no gaps on the corners, the bottom and up here, the chances are when I lay the rest of the film up, we're going to be spot on, okay? We can obviously slide that around. Just quickly now, um, if for some reason, you know, it was really hot or something and that film had to be moved, I can just peel this down, okay? Slowly. Nothing much is going to happen here. It's quite protected. So now what I can do is re-wet the glass. Okay, again, leaving that top edge dry. Rewet the film. Okay. And now let's go back on. You'll find that way, you know, there's more move in the film. And again, if, um, if it is feeling a little dry, um, you can just put a bit more soap in your bottle, okay? But worst case, you can peel the film down, re-wet it, and then have another go at it. Okay, so some people, I prefer to use a Blue Max, um, but some people might use this, so I'll demonstrate a little bit of this, and then the Blue Max. Sticks. Okay, so I want to seal the middle. 
and then I want to come all the way up. And then go all the way down. Okay. So now for this side of the window, I'm going to just smooth that out with my hand. So again, I don't do this technique, but it's just showing you guys something different. Lightly stretch to the corner, push across. Okay. Generally, I would do, you know, my other side now, but I'm going to stick to just using this. Push all the way to the edge. Just working all the moisture out. Okay. Okay, so that's one method. So that'll be the um, side swiper. And then now what I'm gonna do is just grab my, uh, my Blue Max. Again, the same. I'm gonna set that up straight across. So obviously I wouldn't expect you guys to change it up. So you pick one. Once you lay the film on, seal the middle. We're gonna go up and down. Stretch left, stretch right. Okay, so we've got our plus symbol. And then we're gonna work the corners one at a time. Now to the bottom. Again, with the bottom, this is not gonna go all the way down. That's why we have rear screen tools. Gonna swipe that edge, okay? Lightly spray it. Okay, so now the film is on, everything's perfect. But what we wanna do is just hit it one more time with our hard squeegee. This is gonna remove a little bit more moisture, which means um, the film's gonna dry out quicker for the customer. And that's always a good thing. Okay, so with this, we're gonna start center across top to bottom. Each time I go, I'm overlapping my squeegee by 50% and I've got that angle. I'm not doing it like this because the moisture is going to come and travel up and out. We want to push everything down. Then we finish with the swipe. Okay, so now we've done 50%. Let's address the other side. So again, hard squeegee. Top to bottom. Rather than trying to get this down the bottom once again and damaging things, we'll grab our rear screen tool. Okay. Okay. Also two on your edges, some people like to grab a cloth and wrap the gold card and uh, sort of bump the edges. Again, that's something that we cover in our basic flat glass course, um, but for now that's pretty good. Um, also what I like to do now is start the car, put the hot air on and especially the rear defrosters, demist the lines, and you just help that that'll start the drying process. And then if you're getting any bubbles on the actual lines or peanuts, that's gonna happen quicker and you can address it before the customer gets the car.